okay, I don't, I don't decide sa day chart. I move kagad sa one hour chart. So one hour chart, you can see most clearly, kasi mas ano eh, kasi I play short lang. Longest ko maybe four hours. Mostly like sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes one hour, 30 minutes, gano'n. So doon sa day chart ako nag-decide to go in. So once, di ba, sa one hour chart ako to go in, yung decision ko. But yung long trend, I always look at the day chart. Okay, so kung day chart, okay siya. Okay din sa one hour, yung short na chart. Same sila, double combo, we call it. Then I wait for you. The last pick. That's where I place my order. So when it's done, it's done. Then I put a stop. Normally, I put a stop. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 Okay, I go in. Next is yung going out. Yan yung mahirap. Okay guys, we're back in the vlog and we have Jerome San. I don't know if you remember the previous video, no? That was siguro four or five months ago already where we had Jerome San, former college dropout. Tama ba? College dropout. Yes, college dropout. Tapos, did entrepreneurship and then had his own failures, lost money from those businesses. Pero he found a way to pivot. And we haven't, I really believe this is a very, very, very timely vlog also. So, para, there are a lot of entrepreneurs right now that are struggling. Not everyone naman, malaki yung negosyo. There are a lot of SMEs also that are yung closure ng lockdown na to affect your yes. uh, either product business man yan or service everyone's affected mm -hmm. eh. so we have you in the vlog we want to hear your insights but before that kumusta ka naman how's everything going anong may, may apekto ba yung lockdown sa inyo feeling ko sa mga sobrang yaman walang apekto eh, kaya okay lang kayo eh. uh, <laughs> so far okay naman uh, yun effect of course kasi nasa event business kami so it was affected Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to cancel yung Milima Intensive na event, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to happen dapat sa April. But we're able to book uh, it sa October. And hopefully by October, uh, you know, all these things clear up na. Mm -hmm. So it affects us very much. Uh, even Success Resources, yung Singapore partner namin, um, they cancel lahat ng event until okay. I think October din. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. That being said, no, Uh, for a lot of businesses also that uh, yun, wala pumapasok na revenue, uh, what uh -huh. do you suggest, what should they be doing right now? Uh, and I, I think there are iba-iba naman yung mga businesses na mga tao, may mga iba na cash trap talaga, wala pumasok, they're in trouble. There are others naman na at least may wiggle mm -hmm. room sila. Uh, two uh -huh. different groups, what, what's your advice for them at this period in time? Okay, um, kasi I remember before, uh, I was mentored under Rich Dad Asia. His name is Ben Lumtan. He passed away in 2016. But I remember he asked me this question. Um, this was like, I think, 2013 yata. Okay, before we even, you know, uh, brought Robert Kiyosaki to Manila. He asked me this question. Uh, Samia Jerome, is your business recession-proof? And ang sabi ko, I think hindi recession-proof. Okay, so he said yes. Most businesses are not recession proof, but I mean, you can be a person that is recession proof. A mm. person that is recession proof. How? By learning certain investment skill. Mm. Okay, and uh, that's what he did because that's what your group Nilo Robert Kiyosaki they they do. Okay, so they become recession proof people. So uh, what Rich Dad Asia does, or Sibelum Tan does, he he does trading. Magaling siya sa trading. Ah, uh, mm. kung tama yung market. He he go for yung common stocks. Then kung tamat din certain market, he go for options. Then if not yun forex kanon. So when he passed away, he he didn't really taught me so much yung hands on pa. But I'm just privileged na sa event namin kasi we have a lot of good speaker from all over the world. So I I was mentored by this. His name is Sandy Jadeja. He's from London. He's one of the top fifty. Uh, most influential trader in the world. So uh, he taught us. So right now, what I do is I trade Dow Jones, and you know mm -hmm. Dow Jones, they you know for one week na collapse, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's total now from yung peak 
to yung bottom uh, last week, that's about 11,000 points. Eh. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, when you trade Dow Jones, because what we do is spread betting, uh, you actually benefit when once it's going down. Mm. So we make money there uh, mm. at the same time. Because uh, that's what Bellum been doing then, aside from running his business, running Rich Dad Asia Band, but also he does this. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one thing in trading. But if not, because it's very risky, super risky compared mm. to common stocks. Mm. Mm. Um, so sometimes if you don't have a good mentor to guide you, don't go in. Okay, medyo delicado, you can lose the whole, your, your, you can lose your shirt there. So what I would suggest then, because uh, we have one client, her name is Alicia Aquino. Uh, she does mostly Amazon business. So until now, Amazon's still going, uh, mm -hmm. despite you know, what's going on. Uh, so she may still making profit until today. And uh, I think she offered courses then on how to you know, do business at Amazon as a seller to Amazon, which I mean, she can like, you know, in a month, like uh, half a million peso, um, you know, revenue yeah, and everything. So those online thing. Because for me, it's like um, online so far is the safest situation mm -hmm. now. <laughs> so those are the things. Because common stocks right now is, uh, wala eh. <laughs> ah, hirap, you know? But, you know, you wait for you. Because I, I also went to, to a seminar na value investing. Mm -hmm. uh, style ni Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. uh, we have partner Tawag uh, His name is Sean Shia uh, mm -hmm. from Singapore. Uh, they they partner with Mary Buffett. Mm -hmm. So what they do right now, they're not going in yet. Uh, even despite the Dow Jones index, uh, uh, it reached yung. They just entered the bull bull trend right now. Last night, yung pagka close. Mm -hmm. so I also did what I did. Three days straight na. Yeah, umakit, umakit na three days straight. Oh, oh, oh. And amazingly, from yung peak, tapos yung bottom, I put yung uh, Fibonacci. Mm. Last night yung closing niya, hindi last night, uh, 5 a.m. Mm. yung closing mm. ng bell, mm. it hit yung 38.2% ng mm. Fibonacci. Mm. Mm. So it's a sign na, uh, okay, it's bold trend. But um, when you look at it kasi, um, well, it's not because, for me, it's like band aid lang eh. They patch it because, you know, they, they release yung Two, three, uh, mm. two trillion dollars. <laughs> Grab okay, just yeah, two trillion dollars. Yeah, some uh, they release two trillion dollars just para hindi lang bumagsak pa. Mm. Okay, so uh, that's what's happening. So for me, it's just a band aid lang, you know, just to pasa yung what, what's going on. But for me, in times like this, kasi I was looking at U.S. market in non stocks. Um, because the uh, Federal Reserve willing to put two trillion, you know, to protect yung market na yon. And Donald Trump released how much? 50 billion mm. para sa tao naman yung mm. corona. So meaning mas importante pa yung stock sa kanila. Okay, sa <laughs> so, tao. But, but for me, uh, you know, and that's how much they protect yung market. Mm. Okay, because takot nila, you know, magtuloy-tuloy yung recession and everything. So uh, for me, it's good uh, if you play yung uh, Dow Jones index. But make sure you just have someone to mentor you. Kasi if not, you can lose everything. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So so interesting. Um, this is this is interesting because I uh, over the past few days, I the reason why I make videos like this also and must frequent. Uh -huh. And dami nagpa panic. And you're one of the uh -huh. one of the few people that ngay na this is the time that dapat you should trade even more because may volatility naman na nangyayari. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is it may risk component attached to it. Pero ano yung ano yung ano mo? Uh -huh. Can you share ano yung uh, snippets of your style? Paano ka naging profitable dun sa sa trades nyan sa pag trade nung uh, by using spread betting also tapos did you while it was going down it started to rebound for three days nung nag rebound you already uh, went out of your position at that time as well yes uh, so nung pagbaba I made some profit sa eleven thousand actually I didn't make that much kasi may malaking panalo may malaking talo rin okay, okay? kasi even rebound niya it's uh, yung correction niya it can reach one thousand five hundred points eh. Mm. And sometimes I put in stop at 500, which is big. Um, then so, but win ng konte. Then nung sa baba, nung major nagalangani na, they start yung bell reserves start releasing that. I stop because it becomes so volatile. Mm. Tapos nag ano siya, uh, consolidate for a while. Then yung last three days, it just went up. Mm. Okay. Mm. Nung went up naman, I was able to catch, but I'm not sure because uh, the way I trade kasi. Uh, sa long, hindi pa siya tumatama ng MA20 ko. Mm. So, yung pakyan. So, still, 
yeah, so I, it has some passion MA20, so if not, uh, I don't go in. Mm-hmm. So I just use very small amount, you know, para habuling yung taas. So kung in case bumaba, um, kung matalo man, safe pa rin ako. Okay. Yun. And that's one thing. Uh, also another thing, every time I, I trade, I only put in um, yung 5% lang ng risk. Mm-hmm. So I calculate yung buong amount I have, I only willing to risk yung 5%. Maximum na yung 10%. Maximum na yung 10%. Okay. Yun. So I can adjust your leverage. I can use 1, 5, or 10, or even 20. Or, mm-hmm. you know, no major power buy, I use, I use 50. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, siguro na kasi, do, so na ko ako 50. Okay, malaki na ko ako. Pero nag it reverse, natalo ko rin. <laughs> Yan. Okay. Tapos ba ulit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so just to clarify lang, you're just, uh, yung index lang yung sinusundan mo, just the Dow Jones, or you're not going yes. to specific stuff? Okay. Um, yun, kasi most of us, sa mga student ni Sandy, uh, some use yung S&P, mm-hmm. but I always prefer Dow Jones, kasi mm-hmm. S&P may decimal eh, minsan na mm-hmm. ako sa decimal. Mm-hmm. And yun, arrange niya ng, uh, let's say, ng stock loss, and yun, tatawag na leverage. Uh, mm-hmm. Kunyari sa DJI, mm-hmm. 10, Mm. So S&P is one. So mm. major, if I'm using those, because I'm someone, um, I rather focus on one, mm. like DJI. DJI, because mm. eh. uh, So para talagang master yun lang. Mm. Mm. Some people even pay in Germany thirty, and uh, mm. but I just skip those. Just to master you. Just one lang, okay. So just one. Okay. Yeah. I think yun some yun. even go in sa forex, eh. mm-hmm. you know, like yung USD, GBP. Uh, but I still stick to DJI, pa rin. Okay. Kasi okay. once you stick to one, medyo na kukuha mo na yung pattern eh. Mm. Then once you kukuha mo na yung pattern, kasi it's not about you, it's about yung market eh. Mm. And once you saw what market is doing, yung pattern, then, you know, you can make a good decision going in. Basta given, you follow yung anong discipline mo, uh, yung MA20, yung MACD, and also yung advice mo using yung uh, <laughs> parabolic source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it helps. It helps sa getting up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. No? You you said na uh, when you wanted to go long, you wanted uh, to come in pag nag-break sa 20-day moving average upward. Yeah? Uh-huh, yes. Correct. Pero um, if I remember the charts properly, no, uh, pag nag-break siya above the 20, it's still below the 50, 100, 200. Anong style, anong style mo doon? Kasi yung iba parang... Okay. Okay. They, they want a perfect scenario na dapat above lahat dyan bago ako papasok. Uh, how, do okay. you, how do you do it? Uh, okay. I don't, I don't decide sa day chart. I move gagad sa one hour chart. So one hour chart, you can see mm-hmm. most clearly, kasi mas ano eh, kasi I play short lang. Mm-hmm. Longest ko maybe four hours. Mm-hmm. Mostly like sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes mm-hmm. one hour, 30 mm-hmm. minutes, ganoon. Mm-hmm. So doon sa day chart ako nag-decide to go in. Mm-hmm. So once, di ba, sa, uh, ah, sa one hour chart ako to go in, yung decision ko. But yung long trend, I always look at the day chart. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kung day chart, okay siya. Okay din sa one hour, yung short na chart, same sila, double combo, we call it. Then I wait for yung pinakamataas na last pick. That's where I place my order. Mm. Para pag lumampas siya, dire-direcho muna. Then I put a stop. Normally put a stop. Okay? Um, mostly kasi yung pinakababa niya. Sometimes you'll reach like 200, 300, or 100 and stop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what yung risk management ko. Meaning, mm-hmm. I have to compute muna how much I'm willing to lose before I adjust yung leverage ko. Mm-hmm. Okay? So once okay na siya, Okay, I go in. Next is yung going out. Then yung mahirap. Mm. Like sabi ni Robert Kiyosaki, you know, trading is like marriage. Eh. Easy to get in, but it's a hell getting out. <laughs> okay, so doon sa getting out, sometimes um, um, you'll see kasi momentum eh. Doon sa MACD. Um, so kung medyo tama na, you know, don't be too greedy, just get out. You know, get 100, 150 points. Ganun. Sometimes 40 points ang okay na eh. Mm. You know, um, but once deciding to get out, I move sa 15-minute chart naman. Mm. Kasi okay. once doon makikita mo yung reversal, okay, so also the candlestick, importante yun. So yung mga doji, yung mga mm-hmm. engulfing, those kind of things. Those are the things I watch out, mga so, reversal. I have a question. So if, if the, for example, the candlestick produces a red candle or it produces parang uh, a bearish signal, pero it's still above the moving average, do you sell already or mm-hmm. you wait for it kasi nasa taas pa naman siya? Okay, normally, kung short talaga, alanganin ako, okay, I, I stop it na kagad. As in, I don't wait for the stop. I, I just stop it na. Tapos, I place another order sa highest high note. Okay. Al- alam, okay. alam, 
Ah, sige, continue, continue. Yeah, so I just place a, a order, next order sa higher high. Kasi pag may momentum pa, so meaning, kunin ko muna yung pera. At least na sa akin na. Then I place another order. So kung umakit ulit siya, pag nahit ulit yun, taradiretso ko ulit. So when I place order, I was like, plus, not yung exacto highest high, just di ba nalawa. Sometimes plus 10, plus 20. Pag pababa naman, negative 10 or negative 20. Okay, got it, got it. Alam ko na kung bakit super applicable yan. Kasi number one, uh, there's a lot of volatility and you're using a lot of leverage. Because So kung may leverage ka, kasi konting galaw lang, sulit na yung kita. Yes, yung namin na yung kita. Normal stocks, eh. we don't have as much. Uh, we, need, yeah. we, need, so we need sana larger percentage gain mm-hmm. para sulit. Sa inyo, uh, you just, you, mm-hmm. konting ano lang because of the leverage, sulit na talaga yung kita also. Sulit na talaga. So even you use leverage ng 10, umabot ka ng 40 points, that's, Four hundred dollars kagad eh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And sometimes I, I get out, kahit ganun ng kaliit, kunin ko na pera, I wait for it. But some, what they teach is yung long. So basta pag hindi pa umabot ng stop, but sometimes hindi ko, hindi ko na hinabot ng yung mas stop out ako na talo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sometimes I just like get the money first, then wait for another order. Okay. Can I ask this question? Madaming Pilipino, hindi sila familiar kung ano yung spread betting. Uh, for the audience, m- most of my audience normally are uh, stock investors, stock traders, and also uh-huh. uh, entrepreneurs. They, they uh-huh. are not yet too familiar of, of the products and investments outside the Philippines. Uh, how does it work? Uh-huh. What's, what's the main difference kung underlying asset naman niya, indices naman? What's, uh, what's the best way to explain to them and how can they get into it also? Okay, first kasi we distinguish yung two things. Uh, what you do kasi common stocks is you invest. Mm. Diba? Mm. For, for, for the long. Mostly you invest mm. for the long term. Mm. Eh. Kasi doon mas sulit eh, pag long. Mm. Mm. Pero what we do is trading. So trading is not investing at all. Mm-hmm. It's parang sugal in a way. Okay? Mm. So, but the odds are 50-50 lang naman eh. Either parang para cruise, either or lang. <laughs> Okay, so you want to have yung odds at least 70% on your side, mm. which is looking at yung mga indicator. Mm. So sometimes those indicators will tell you saan yung, yung wave or yung mm. trend, and that's mm-hmm. where you catch yung trend. So there's this long trend, which I look at the day for the week. Um, week kasi sobrang ano na, so I look at the day always. From that day, I look at yung trend. I make a decision sa uh, one hour chart naman. Mm. Kasi pasok ko, maikli lang eh. Minsan 100 points, 150, I'm out na. Mm. Okay? And sometimes when I overtrade, palaging talo. So, I learn not to overtrade. Okay. okay. Ay, minsan napa mo na alis ka na eh. Minsan swap ang, okay, pasok ka pa, doon ka natatalo. So, mm-hmm. you know, I just learn not to overtrade. Okay. Yan. But, um, umpisa nung coronavirus, bumagsak yun, ano, okay, I don't mind overtrading. Mm-hmm. Except I have to watch out for you. Minsan mag-reverse siya kagad. Sometimes mm-hmm. it reverses to 1,000 points, 800, mm-hmm. 1,500. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. For those who don't know Six. what spread betting is, anong underlying, dif- yung, anong underlying difference niya sa, sa stocks mismo? Sa so stocks, spread betting kasi what we do is when you enter an order, you go for the highest high. Mm-hmm. You like add 10 or 20 mm-hmm. above that. Sa lowest low naman, you add like um, yung previous previous chart. So, mm-hmm. kunyari, uh, normally, you place an order sa closing ng, ng Dow Jones. Okay. So, let's say 5, 5 a.m. dito kasi 5 p.m. doon eh. Mm-hmm. Which, normally, they close 4.30, but I mean, they, they end at 5 a.m. dito, which is 5 p.m. sa New York. Mm-hmm. So, once they close, ano yung last uh, order niya? Mm-hmm. So, we get the highest high and yung low, uh, lowest low for that whole day. Mm-hmm. So, we place a bet either or. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lot, uh, we place both bet. Okay. So, kung saan siya tumama, ganun lang. Yeah. It, actually, this is famous sa London. This is what they normally do. They call it spread betting. Tapos, uh, for Men, those who are not know. as, as parang, they cannot, kasi yung, yung, ginag, yung nangyayari din is when it drops massively, you make a lot of, you make a lot of money also if it's done. Yes, you make a lot of money. Uh, ano yung, ano yung mga ano, for people who cannot tolerate yung ganun volatility, uh, what do you suggest? Ano yung pwede nilang gawin? Especially, okay. uh, I'm, mm-hmm. just so, I'm just so excited kasi sa lahat na natanungan ko, ikaw yung isa sa few na pangit yung mga businesses ngayon, sarado mag-trading na lang. You are one of the few people na nag-recommend ng trading also. Uh, yeah, okay. Kasi when, when like like common stocks, how you learn, um, you start muna with small amount. Kasi when, when you start learning trading, hindi muna importante yung pera. Don't, don't look at the money you're going to make. 
okay? But the skill, you're gonna learn. So focus on the skill first. Mm -hmm. So even, you know, kasi sa DJI, lowest is 50 cents, your leverage. So you can start 50 cents, put in 1,000 muna. Mm -hmm. Okay, ang goal mo muna is to, to double yung 1,000. Mm -hmm. Kung mo 1,000. If hindi mo madoble yung 1,000 US dollar, don't, don't add. Never mm -hmm. add. Because mm -hmm. meaning, wala pa yung skill mo. Mm. Okay? Kasi yung importante yung skill. Because once you get the skill, obviously the money will come. Mm. Mm. At anong gawin mo kung hindi mo nakuha yung skill, hindi pa rin darating yung pera eh. mm. So once you discipline, nag-double mo na from 1,000, you put in, you increase it to 2,000 or 3,000, then you mm. add. Mm. Okay? So let's say you add 5,000 in, in add mo. Okay, next is you wanna make it to 10,000 naman. Parang ganon. Mm. Meaning incremental lang. Mm -hmm. Habang yung skill mo gumagaling. Okay, and always remember, like only bet on yung five percent that you're willing to loss. Sa buong equity na nilagay mo, yung buong margin mo. Okay, because it's actually very volatile. It's very fast, so you can win big, you can lose big then at the same time. So we always say number one rule: always protect yung margin mo. I think same din anywhere so even sa investing sa stocks or sa trading always protect your margin first very very correct yeah. so uh na excited ako kasi yun nga, uh, very very few people would recommend that but trade na lang kayo kasi sarado lahat this is the best time i would normally hear uh, online uh, do something online and it's nice to hear someone also recommend trading uh -huh. as well ngayon naman i i i see you were on, you wanted to say something uh, hindi na, hindi na. Okay, but uh, itong influence kasi ni Rich Daddy siya sa akin, Bellum. Mm -hmm. And that's why how you become a recession proof person mm -hmm. is for me, this is one thing he does also. Mm -hmm. Okay, but except he, he knows how to play option, he knows how to play long, he, mm -hmm. he does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, but kunyari, I'm sure he probably enter yung Forex din. Uh, sometimes sinisilip pa lang, but I never went in. Mm -hmm. Yun. Do you, do, you, do you suggest that people stick to anong asset class talaga sila uh, sanay or should they explore? Like ako, hindi ako nagpo forex eh. Ano lang, I, I do stocks, pero nagsispread ako to different markets. Pero stocks lang din talaga. I would not, hindi ako, hindi ako nag, nagsispread into something na hindi ko masyadong alam din or gamay. May, may, may level, kaya yung charts pare-pareho lang eh. Pero yung may level of, Dito ka sanay, alam mo na yung, alam mo na yung galaw, sort, sort, of, sort of that, ano? Okay. In, in that situation naman, I would follow Robert Kiyosaki, what he does. Mm. Kasi si Robert, what his expertise is, real estate. As in, real estate mm. lang. Stock investments, like, he's not. Ayun, yeah. But the thing is, Robert built a team. Mm. So in his team, meron talaga magaling sa stocks. Meron talaga uh, sa law. So for me, it's like, I have people, like, for instance, ako kasi I'm like focusing on this at trading eh. Mm. Okay, but when it's time ready na pag real estate investing, I have the money, I know where to find that person who will help me mm. find investment of my real estate. Mm. So meaning, I work with people who are expert. Mm. And sometimes when this, this expert will ask me, okay, paano yung trading ulit? Kasi parang gusto naman niya pumasok ngayon. Mm. Okay, and I have a friend in who wants to go in naman right now, uh, yung value investing. So mm. I call up yung value investing friends of mine. So I don't go in yet because it's not obviously undervalued because mm. they always buy an undervalue. Mm. But the thing is, uh, it's not done yet. Because right now, what's, even if it entered the bull market in US stock market, well, it's like a patch up lang kasi ng ano, eh, pero reserve. Eh. So mm. uh, we'll see pa rin. Mm. You know? Yung, yung interesting doon, yung sa, ano, naglagay sila 2 trillion, pero dahil, nag-declare na nila quantitative easing forever, eh, infinity. So, ang mangyayari pag- uh, Yeah. Uh -huh. sila ng Almost, wala, walang interest rate, you know, oh. those kind of things. Kasi they, uh, what happened kasi US, they really have to protect. Kasi, you know, if you look at US market kasi, you know, stock market, they, they protect it so much, you know, uh, like crazy. But by Robert Kiyosaki then, you know, there's going to be a big crash. This is, this is just parang a glimpse of it. So sometimes like, I, like yesterday, I was, I, was, I was asking myself, what did I learn from this? No? Okay, so yung volatility, pagdating doon, all those kind of things. Because this is like a small practice. You know, so what's coming ahead, what they're calling it, yung big crash pa. Okay. So it, it, it's a good practice talaga. Parang wow, okay, at least nakapag-practice kami. Kasi we, we, we have this people, lahat kami uh, doing this DJI. We were, we're in this, uh, we use tele, telegraph. Uh, 
yeah, we use Telegraph, so we're all in there uh, sharing information. Uh, it's it's really a good practice. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. People are saying that this is it na daw, or so you mean there's a bigger crash, but that will possibly happen. Well, uh, yeah, according to Robert, uh, um, according to mga ano. Okay, kasi, um, okay, interesting kasi, I don't know if you have read this book by Jonathan Kahn, mm -hmm. uh, yung Shemita. Uh, no, 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 not, not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, yun. So it talks about yun kasi, for instance, uh, yung September 11, mm -hmm. September 11, 2001. Actually, if you look at it, it's a Shemita ah. plus yung... I heard about it's it. All based, yeah, it's all based on Jewish calendar. Okay, but that's one aspect pa lang. Okay? Kasi right now, it's like what happening sa US. Uh, another thing na lang. I, I read this book. I forgot the author. He's a Asian guy, but based in US. He's with Wall Street for like, I think, 15 years. Then, medyo ayaw na niya, so he went out. Okay, and he wrote this book, Tawag Ponzi Factor. Mm -hmm. And he say, you know, um, more than 70% of mga Fortune 500 companies na nasa stocks, most of the president, yung bonus nila is naka-index um, sa ano, stock market. So if they're able to raise yung stock prices higher, meaning they have larger bonuses. Mm -hmm. So that's why the stocks went up that crazy. That's, mm -hmm. Everyone's like, bring it up, bring it up. Mm -hmm. But it's like so much na yung bubble, um, you know, what everything goes up must come down then. Mm -hmm. So this is just like one bounce, yung 11,000 points na, you know, binaba ng Dow Jones. So um, there's more. So right now, for us, uh, doing this at Dow Jones, it's a good practice our upcoming but if it didn't happen at least you know we go in uptrend or little whatever mm -hmm. so it's it's this this thing this industry what we're doing it's actually you know uh, basically bellum it's uh, becoming a recession proof person mm -hmm. so even your business name not doing mm -hmm. that okay long we're still here mm -hmm. even our staff's office we we enroll them here uh, we're willing to teach them so so we have uh, several People in the staff now is actually doing this. Was also mm. able to take advantage of mm. you know, because the office I'm in right now, we don't have work, which I think most business naman. Mm. Yun. Uh, but what we do is like, hindi naman yun talaga no no work no pay. What we do sa policy namin, we give them allowance per day. Uh, yeah, pero walang work, but mm. they, they get allowance, so it's still okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're nice people. We don't want to let go then. Mm. So you know. Mm. I, I I have I have this you know I have this uh I have this quite I have this comment though that uh one I think one of the reasons why the US government is protecting yung stock market nila because yung sentiment if everyone thinks na okay lahat then they will proceed uh -huh. and act normally meaning normal silang gagastos normal bibili so yung yes nila, exactly we just continue uh -huh. at, and then with the hope na magre rebound siya if everything uh -huh. um, will go kasi pag takot yung mga tao hindi sila gagastos hindi sila lalabas hindi lalong lulubog yung economy i think they're trying to condition everyone na they okay lang tayo okay lang tayo i think that's exactly what they prevent they want to prevent what yung nangyari 1929 yung mm -hmm. biggest stock uh, crash ng market which mm -hmm. nagkaroon ng recession for i think it recovered like five years mm -hmm. or 10 years before mm -hmm. it even bounce back in the economy and everything. So I think they're doing so much just to protect na hindi mangyari yun. And I think lang yung yeah. isa the biggest thing na possible na magpaparo sa kanila is yung unemployment nila ngayon. Sobrang taas na. Uh, yes, 3 million. 3 million. 3 million just like two weeks. Uh, yeah. Uh, and right now, US rank number one uh, in uh -huh. terms of infected. Uh -huh. So I mean, uh, yesterday I was looking at like you know China, pari number one, number two, US, number three, Italy. But this mm. morning, say like, oh, mm. US number one. So it's just sad, um, you know. But uh, fatality rate, my gosh, Italy kawawa talaga. Because mm. I think old, older, much older population din talaga. Much older population, yun. US naman, uh, well, parang humahabol sila sa China, eh, which is really sad din. Mm -hmm. And I you think. Know, the biggest effect dun sa economy nila is they really have not locked down yet. When they lock down even further, may lumalabas pa kasi. So when they lock down, mas lalo magsislow down yung economy nila nun. Yes. And, and, and I know, kasi I, I, I studied sa US before, makulit tao doon. I mean, kung dito, <laughs> sa walang disiplina doon, mas grabe. Okay. Uh, that's why I think highest city right now is New York. Yung city mm -hmm. yung tinamaan. Mm -hmm. And I think LA because uh, very crowded. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Couple, couple of questions before we end. Uh, number one, you said be recession proof. You have to have skills that kahit sarado ngayon, you can still make money. And then you mentioned uh -huh. uh, you trade or you go to Amazon. What's your advice man, for some business owners ngayon that uh, what, what do they do with their employees naman? What do you advise for them? Especially mga retail establishments na, sara, na sarado sila. Uh, what, uh -huh. what, what's a best course of action for the business as a whole, not naman for their personal uh, finances? Okay, because I think I would I would target muna uh, sa SME because SME mas um, delicado ngayon eh. Okay, mm -hmm. um, kasi it's hard din for your employee wanna keep um, you know if no work no pay mm -hmm. and uh, gosh, mahirap din eh. <laughs> kasi for us we just give them allowance na lang, just mm -hmm. enough na you know. Um, I don't want to say how much, but it's good enough per day that they can survive. Mm. So we, we put it per week, uh, like last week. So this week, uh, nung last Monday, we put in for the whole week. Na. Mm -hmm. yung, ano, just enough to survive uh, yun, uh, for food. Uh, but yung rent, hindi pa. Uh, so yun isang ni raise nila. Okay, so far, I, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's so, okay, that's okay. It's yeah, okay. You, you guys uh, want the business is... Uh, kayo, you you preserve cash, kaya, kaya protected kayo because in spite yes, kind of good for us. But of of course we have office, we have employees, so there's still expense. But we're using this the month, so we have fun. But in, because when we start the business, we plan it very well. Because mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I lost huge money because remember last time I was saying the Asian crisis in 1997. So, you know, when I do business, I was prepared for something like this. So, even in trading, what we do is, is a preparation then in case things like this happen. Mm. So, I think, um, I think if, if, kasi nung 1997 ng Asian crisis, I wasn't ready. So, I was really wiped out. I was like crying to my eyeballs and everything. But I think this, for SME naman, business owner, this will be a great lesson then. Um, you know, if you're going to ask yourself, what have I learned uh, due to the program, meaning it's the next once you bounce back again, make sure you prepare yourself. Mm. So find something na even pagdating ng, let's say, stuff like this, um, that you know you can still make money. Which is, kasi before when I started online, I mean, uh, doing business with uh, mga online and everything. Eh. But now there's so many things mm. um, you know, that you can find. And you know, you can find YouTube then. YouTube kasi will almost anything you need to learn someone's teaching there, you know, like mm. Marvin Germo <laughs> can teach you something there. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. it's good. Got, so, I, I, just to mind what you said, no, uh, it's, it's hard din talaga, pero yung mga ganitong uh, occasions, it can be a lesson already for something also in the future that uh, mm -hmm. they can also prepare for it. I really agree kasi uh, madami naman din ng, pag, when, when times are good, hindi mo in-expect na mangyayari ito eh. Either yes. uh, expand ka ng expand sa negosyo, thinking na everything will be okay, or uh, tanggal ka na tanggal ng pera, napabili ka ng magandang kotse because, 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 because uh -huh. of the profits of it. So, uh, that's that's true no? in the midst of this that they should also use this as a uh, lesson. Pero as long, this will pass also as long as they uh, they they try to, yeah. ako magawin ko in, ngayon, Kung wala talaga, magtitipid ako. Kung meron akong pwede mabenta, okay. ibibenta ko para uh, to, uh -huh. to keep everything afloat as uh -huh. well. And I I heard a great advice from a good friend na nagbe-business din. Sabi niya, uh, instead, minsan, hindi mo kailangan magbenta. Minsan, pwede mo uh -huh. itibig. Kasi baka meron ka na kailangan na ibang tao may kailangan sila na kailangan mo rin. Uh -huh. so, kasi sa yeah, uh, yung OLX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's so many things. Kasi sometimes, like, tough times like this, uh, when push comes to shove, sometimes dito lumalabas yung discarte, yung mm -hmm. ano, I mean, which is a good good thing din, in a way. You know, I was talking at yung, um, I was reading yung 19, 1918, yung epidemic. Mm -hmm. um, kasi like, like, right now, of course, we're concerned, how long will this last ba? You know, so I always go back to the past and, and look at what happened before. The 1918 pandemic, um, which is really worse than what happened here. Because mm. this 19, imagine 1918, uh, technology, nila, what, uh, World War, uh, just finished World War One. Mm. If you see your movie 1917, this is 1918. 
Uh, so 1918, yung pandemic, it called the H1 flu, it's a bird flu also. Mm. It wiped out, uh, I think, fatalities, like more than 50 million people died. Wow. Tapos, uh, one-fourth ng population was infected. Worldwide ito, one-fourth ng population, which is, I, I saw yung numbers, like 500 million people was infected. Uh, 50 million people died. And this whole epidemic lasts 15 months. Tagal. Okay, so... Ang tagal, 15 months, okay? Until, so I was talking what they did. So at that time, they were shocked. They don't know what to do. So face masks lang, you know, they wear your gas mask. They just cover everything. Tapos fatality, and dami. Because they don't have the technology we have today. So today naman, I was thinking, if that lasts 15 months, this one probably hindi naman will not be that long. Kasi right now, we're more prepared. Mm. Uh, we learn from the past. Also, I think important thing is communication right now. Because I think scientists worldwide, doctors worldwide are helping each other in how they treat, how they treat. So today, technology, online, everything, uh, yeah, I think it should be done. And I think, you know, um, ito na lang. Basically, we human are survivor. We always thrive in situation like this. Minsan lumalabas pa dito humanity. So, you know, it's just medyo nakaka, you know, awa lang people who, you know, who die, you know, fatality. But, uh, yeah, and sana kumonte. <laughs> yeah. Ayan. Yeah. Uh, last, last two questions. Projection, mm-hmm. how do you think, uh, think things will go sa economy naman ng Philippines? Uh, how will this affect us also as a, as a, as a, as an economy? And meron bang opportunities doon na pwedeng gawa ng negosyo or pag-invest? Kasi, mm-hmm. In every crisis, there's always an opportunity for people. Opportunity. Uh-huh. Ano sa tingin mo yung pwedeng opportunity na makikita nila na mag arise over the next six months to a year uh, because of this? Okay. Okay. I always look at opportunity kasi is in the eye of the beholder. Nasa tao yun eh. Some people like, wala lang, you know, na inis, na quarantine for a while. But there's some people who learn great lesson. And those are the people, you know, um, who would start looking for change. Okay, and uh, I, I think because like every crisis, uh, opportunity arises, and opportunity always nasa tao yun eh, how they see an opportunity. And for me, yes, uh, those people who are not aware, who are affected, uh, you know, like uh, medyo na an in business, your job, I think they're going to start looking at other income or, you know, maybe, you know, more entrepreneurs will rise up, more investors will rise up, you know. Um, but see, right now, there's so many business you can do, especially online. It's like unlimited streaming. Um, you know, the more creative you are, the better. So I think it's time, like, you know, especially make this time your quarantine time to learn things. Like, for me, like, right now, I, you know, ako yung pinakamahina ko is writing, uh, spelling, those kind of things. So right now, like, uh, buti na lang dumating before na quarantine, you know, I start learning uh, that I'll okay. happy writing. <laughs> Copywriting. I bought like, you know, eight copywriting books. Uh, pati yung Bible ng copy. Yeah. Because uh, for me, it's like, remember last time I always say, you know, explore, then you eliminate, then you execute. So normally, like, sa copywriting, I explore like several books. Uh, you know, I do speed reading. So speed reading, pa na lang, pinaka, ano ko is yung post it. Anything need to get back, post it, post it, post it, keep going until tapos, next book, next book, next book. Uh, so my important things, I just go back to the post it lang. Okay, uh, that's one of my pinakamahila ko. And also, like, um, uh, you know, like, few days ago, I think last week, there's so many yung mga online apps, like uh, video editing on sale. You pay one time, lifetime sa'yo na, and I was able to buy six apps. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and uh, $69 lang, lifetime na, plus yung upgrade, $29 lang. I mean, what the steal, di ba? So you can make, you know, yung mga tinatawag na infograph na, na cartoon, you can make yung doodle. Binili ko na lahat, parang on sale eh, bigla sa nag-sale eh. You know? And then, I'm learned, uh, want to learn those then, you know? Kasi yung mga mahina ko, why not take this time to learn those? Uh, yeah, kasi meaning uh, skill, another skill. So always remember, um, you know, it's not about yung business, it's about yung becoming a recession-proof person, mm. yung tao, by mm. learning certain investment mm. skill. Okay, so you made that person. Yun. Galing. Galing. And I've been, I've been saying this a lot ng mga uh, interviews ko the past few days, no? 
what I've noticed, pare-pareho eh, it's all about the mindset. Yung mga people that become successful, uh, regardless of the times, it's kung paano nila isipin. And alam mo, ginagawa nila, pareho, sa ginagawa mo. Everyone's building the skill, everyone's trying to learn something new. Or yung mga dating, uh-huh. pagod na pagod kasi sobrang busy sila ngayon, na at least nakapahinga sila, they get to do the things na hindi nila. Yeah, pahinga. Yeah, tama. Um, I mean, uh, Audible helps me a lot then. Uh, recently, uh, Amazon yung Audible. Hmm. Uh, pero tapos na eh, kakatapos lang I think today, March 27 I don't know when you're gonna air this but kakatapos lang yung big sale nila like hmm. 695 lang for audiobooks Whoa. kasi I mean I, I subscribe sa uh, Audible it, it helps me a lot uh, okay. I've been listening to audio ever since uh, you know when I started listening sa audio din uh, yung mga cassette tape pa which hmm. I still have until wow. today wow nakita ko nga uh, Robert Kiyosaki sa likod. may cassette sa likod I see the ano that, uh, 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 yeah, I still have yung mga cassette tape. Uh, kasi, you know, alam mo, before you can, like, copy yung isang cassette to ano, uh, another one. So, kinokopya ko lang. Ito yung pinapay ko sa car. Okay, okay. Yung original, tinatago ko lang. Okay, got it. Very mint condition, yeah. <laughs> so, cassette tape. <laughs> Galing naman. To, to end, no, yeah. for people who want to touch base with you or your company, how can they reach you? Do you have an email or at least a social media account na kung may tanong sila or they want to engage with you for the future? How can they uh, get in touch? Okay. Um, best is go to uh, yung sa Facebook page na lang namin, uh, Loros Enterprises or loros.ph. Uh, oh. Yun sa Facebook slash loros.ph. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can message us. Uh, we have people answering those messenger naman. Uh, may chatbot din, but uh, we have messenger, people, live people answering those. Okay. Yeah. You also have a podcast, di ba? I saw, I saw, I saw. Uh, yeah, but it's not as like, you know, extreme as yours. So we're like no, still learning. I'm gonna learn a lot from you din. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, so we, we started. Can, yeah. How can they read? Can they watch it already? Is it, is it available? Yes. Uh, pero hindi kami sa YouTube muna. We're still mm-hmm. learning how YouTube really works. So mm-hmm. I think I need your advice on that. So sa Facebook muna lahat. Kasi okay. Kasi medyo okay. doon yung traffic namin. So under under Laurus Enterprises. Under loros.ph. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. Thank you so much namin. for the time. Sobrang, well, thank you, uh, Fidel. Thank you, Dennis. It. And it's nice na, it's nice na, ano, na, me, na, me, na, me, na, na, ano, na, nagsasuggest din na, na, pwede kang mag-trade kasi at this time, a lot of people are, mm-hmm. are scared to trade. Pero, yung rudiments kasi ng technical analysis, okay. pare-pareho lang naman siya. The, the chart will always oh. look the same. Uh, Uptrend, yeah. downtrend, sideways, support, resistance, uh-huh. the same regardless if there's a lot of fear or there's no fear around. Uh-huh. So, yun. Yeah, uh, but, but also kasi, yeah, sabi ko diba, I work with a lot of people. Um, so, ito yung sa value investing side naman. I, I told this friend, sige, pag may signal na kayo, when it's the right time to get in, I wanna get in. Okay. <laughs> Kasi sa news din, like Warren Buffett start getting in. That's why a lot of people start getting in. And I think it's it's like a hype because they really want to bring it up again. <laughs> but for me, they they know yung, kasi they have this chart eh. Uh, mm-hmm. They put in your number para mako yung undervalue etong number. That's the only time they did it. Right now, it's just too low. Parang sobrang, ano pa, you know, delicado. It might go down. <laughs> so parang, why not? Kasi ang baba na eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yun, and- so they're gonna tell me. And na realize ko din sa ano context lang ng Philippine market. Na realize ko yung yung maximum point of fear sometimes doon din siya minsan nagba-bounce. For example, yung sa Philippine market, yung Ayala Land, from 53 nag halos 19 pesos siya. Pagkatama oh, niya ng 19, okay. boom, bounce. Nag 34 na siya, up siya halos uh, 34 siya kanina intraday no. I I, I have to check oh. yung closing pero it's uh-huh. it's up 70, 80 plus percent in a one week one week period for one of the wow, biggest bilis, ah. Oh, oh, so... I- ilan yung index ngayon? I mean, number uh, nag, it nag, nag five plus, nag, Nasa 5 plus level na ulit five. siya. Oh, uh, uh-huh. from, Which syempre, is like 8 years ago ba yung 5 plus? Uh, uh, bu- bu- years, nung eh? nag 4,000 plus siya last week, binalikan niya yung 2010 levels also. So, ganun ka laki okay. rin. Ganun din ka laki yung yeah. sa kanya. Oh, uh, okay. So, interesting lang kasi katulad sa US, yung uh, BSP, naglabas din ng arsenal to uh, to buy up bonds mm-hmm. tapos ganun din yung GSIS SSS naglabasan din sila ng ng pera to uh, para mamulot ng mga uh-huh. stocks na matataas yung dividend so uh-huh. i think the day kanina 55 markets so ganun ni mga uh-huh. ganun, may ganun okay kas- which is good sign din mm-hmm. 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 So, yun lang. Yeah. Thank you so much, ha. Uh, well, thank ano, you. Uh, after, after, pag may signal ka na, 
ulit. Message mo uh, ka. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, sige, sige. So, thank you. Have Ayan. a good day. Uh, and to all those who are okay. watching, I hope you guys got a lot from Jerome San. Super galing. And he likes to share the information. And uh, yun, sobrang yaman, guys. Sobrang yaman. And I hope that you guys a lot got a lot from this also. Comment below if you have any questions. We'll make we'll try to make videos off of that as well. And yun lang, mm-hmm. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay-